This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, A Blazing Fire of Mercy. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. There is much that we can take from these teachings of our Lord. Not only did Jesus say, I have come to set the earth on fire, he also said that it's his desire that this fire be blazing. Fire is powerful. A blazing fire, for example, can purify the precious metal gold. When heated to a liquid state, the impurities rise to the surface for easy removal. Fire can also consume. When a blazing fire completes its burning, what's left are only ashes. Many great saints have reflected upon the image of fire as an image of the purification God wants to do within our souls. St. John of the Cross, for example, reflected in depth upon this image. He explained that entering into divine union was similar to a log burning. At first, as the log begins to burn, it crackles and pops. This is because the impurities within the wood, such as moisture or sap, do not burn as the wood burns. But as a log continues to burn, St. John explains, eventually the log becomes one with the fire. At first you can distinguish the log from the fire when only part of the log is burning. But once the entire log is engulfed in the flames and all the impurities are burnt out, you have a piece of wood that is one with the fire. It glows and emits light and heat. When we ponder these words from Jesus regarding his desire to set the earth on fire, we must first see this as his desire to purify our souls. Within our souls, there are many impurities that need to be removed if we are to become one with God, emitting His radiance and glory. This purification involves a process of allowing God to bring our sins to the surface so that they are seen and can be removed. But this is only possible if we allow the blazing fire of God's purifying love to consume us. Often times in life we are content with simply being mediocre in our faith journey. We pray, go to Mass on Sunday, and try to be good. But this is not the life our Lord wants for us. He wants a life that is radically consumed with the blazing fire of His love. He wants us to become so purified from our sin that he is able to become one with us, sending forth the radiance of His glory through our lives. Reflect today upon the image of a blazing and purifying fire. Use the image of gold melting to the point that all impurities rise to the surface. Or use the image that St. John of the Cross uses with the log. God wants so much more from you. He wants to transform you and use you in ways beyond your imagination. Do not be afraid to make the radical decision to allow the blazing and purifying fire of our Lord's mercy to transform you. And don't wait for this to start tomorrow. Kindle that flame today. Let us pray. My purifying Lord, you deeply desire to set my heart and soul on fire with the transforming mercy of your love. 
Please give me the grace I need to permit you to kindle this fire of love in my heart so that it will truly become blazing and all-consuming. May this blaze ignite me in the inner depths of my heart so that you will shine brightly in my life, bringing forth the warmth of your love into our world. Jesus, I trust in you. <laughs> 